Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on December 26, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at our world update, space weather, world weather. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas, and are still enjoying the holidays safely. Looking here at our sun, incoming images, we have two Earth-facing sunspots, but they are not very active. Outgoing images there, as well observing coronal hole ahead of the Earth-facing sunspot. So that coronal hole is Earth-facing right now. We can expect that coronal hole winds dream within the next 36 hours. And it is a pretty tightly whipped coronal hole ahead of these sunspots. And you can see just minor activity coming out of those sunspots. And if you look on the right side there and as well the left, you can see a small ejection from the backside. So something happened on the backside of our sun. Looking here at the sunspot regions. Thanks everybody for tuning in today. We are almost at 15K. Having a look at our solar real-time solar wind as we are just over 400 kilometers per second. 425. Watching the density bunches rise within the next uh, these last couple hours observing here the schumann resonance for today which is a high frequency of 10 7.83 hertz power of 8.5 having a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours and as you can see it has been busy across the whole planet literally looks like a pin cushion right now so start out here with the most recent in California, 2.7, as well 3.6 here early this morning. Thermal California, no, sorry, that was yesterday. Thermal California saw small earthquakes warm yesterday. There's been hundreds actually of minor earthquakes all around California, San Andreas fault line. Overlooking Alaska, not much to talk about. Minor earthquakes, Russia here, 4.6. Japan with a 4.3. Mariana's Trench with a 4.8 at a 63 kilometer depth. And then Philippines, they have been rocking. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there the last couple days. They've seen large earthquakes, luckily no tsunamis. Just show you here, this is the last 48 hours for earthquakes since the 24th. They had that large 6.3 and then a lot of earthquakes south down into Indonesia where there's talks of Luatolo and as well Tal Volcano erupting. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report coming up tonight. Overlooking New Zealand here, deepest earthquakes last 24 hours, 601 kilometer at 4.5, as well the 589 kilometer depth, 4.0 there in New Zealand. A lot to talk about as well, Hawaii over Christmas time erupting and still the caldera is filling. Just looking here at the most recent earthquakes, 2.7, 2.8. But you can see the last seven days, it has been very active. Kilauea, as it is now filled up almost 45 meters of lava in the caldera of Kilauea. Looking here, Central America, 4.3. In Mexico, El Salvador, 4.7. And as well, a 4.4. 4.4 here in Panama. Earthquake swarm continues Puerto Rico, 3.5 just recently there. And as well, seeing a lot of activity recently in South American plate. With Chile, and as well south into, uh, yeah, Chile. 
mostly Chile and Argentina border. Overlooking African plate, not much to talk about. 4.3 there, Turkey. 5.1 there, Uzbekistan. I just have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. And here it looks like an even worse pin cushion. As you can see, many deep earthquakes, those elevated rings over the last little while all along the western side of the Ring of Fire. Quiet across the African plate, up into Eurasia. South America. And then it just seems like we're all waiting here in this quiet zone, Cascadia. Everybody be on watch, be aware and prepared and be ready for anything. Just have a plan. Let's have a look at here. Pacific Disaster Center, most recent updates for volcanoes from around the world. Karamiski in Russia, Reventador in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Fuego, Guatemala, Senge in Ecuador, Swiss in Ajima, Japan, Sabankaya in Peru, Era in Japan, Kluchevskoy in Russia, uh, Shivalich in Russia, as well Dokono in Indonesia. So that's 12 volcanoes being updated just in the past eight hours on the Pacific disaster map, as well observing here satellite imagery and as well across the northeastern United States floods and blizzard-like conditions, heavy snowfall amounts throughout Quebec, Winter storm conditions continuing across the west as well. Cold temperatures moving in. Winter storm warning here for the BC coastline. Winter storm warning for northwestern United States as well. Avalanche warnings. And we're seeing a lot of that across the Rocky Mountains early this winter. So heads up all you skiers across the Rocky Mountains. A lot of avalanches warnings popping up. As well, looking at Tropical Cyclone Shailene, who is now running across Madagascar and will be heading into Africa in the next couple days, which most likely will intensify once it leaves Madagascar, going into these extreme heat conditions coming out of South Africa. So heads up, South Africa, my friends and family from around the world, it's about to get hectic there in South Africa. As well, it is now hectic across the UK as this monstrous tropical storm, or sorry, subtropical storm, Bella. They're calling it Storm Bella. is affecting the, the United Kingdom and southward. Let's get to the five-day forecast and see what this storm is going to do. Starting out here overlooking Calgary, Alberta, home base. As we are hovering at about minus 10 degrees and will so for the next few days as a high-pressure ridge moves down. And then the cold temperatures are going to be hanging around after that. Still a continuing rain train from the Pacific heading into the Washington coastline, Oregon coast, coastline up into BC. And the further north you go, it turns into snow. Watching a Colorado low develop here this week, bringing cold temperatures as far down south as Albuquerque, New Mexico. They could see minus 10 in some places. So heads up. My American friends, cold weather is coming. As well, Ontario, you do have a system moving in for Monday and Tuesday. It's going to bring some more snow. And this Colorado low is going to be picking up a lot of warm air and moisture from the Gulf. So watch for extreme weather to rip across southeastern United States. Um, and that is Wednesday into Thursday. Observing still this large low pressure system in the Pacific seems to be dominating and not penetrating the mountains in Russia. So it's breaking off and sending all these low pressure systems eastward. As I say, the rain train continues in BC. Overlooking West Pacific, heavy rains to develop over Japan in the next few days. Daily evaporation rains across the equator, Philippines, Indonesia. Heavy rains moving into northern Australia throughout the week. Heavier towards northeastern regions later in the week. And as well, southeastern coastline. 
Watch for the heavy bands of rain to develop there. Those dark reds and purples. Still an area of interest here moving westward. Tropical cyclone Shailene here. This is the five day forecast and you can see rips right across Madagascar. Most likely will gain energy heading into South Africa right into the middle of the continent. So heads up friends and family in Africa. Extreme weather event is on its way. Not much to talk about it across Northern Africa. Some cool temperatures moving into parts of Algeria as tropicals as storm Bella, sorry, affects all of Europe pretty much as it comes through and it's going to break off into these little low pressure systems and they're going to scoot through the Mediterranean and then eastward. But watch for that high pressure blockade and a lot of cold temps from Russia. They will be joining the party here. And winter is upon us. These cold temperatures will be creeping westward throughout the forecast, but still some oddly warm and unseasonable temperatures hanging around the UK parts of Europe overlooking the Atlantic Ocean not much to talk about South America daily evaporation rains nothing major heavier rains towards Paraguay but this system across southeastern United States will be a doozy heads up my American friends most likely will see some tornadoes as you can see intertropical convergence crashing right over the states leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern and as well pointing out the major systems thanks everybody for watching today much love to you all stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due thanks for watching now bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.